Right now, the Michigan DEQ is deciding whether or not Nestle should be allowed to pump more water out of West Michigan. And for the first time, Target 8 is taking our own look at the company. Lindsay McComel is here right now after learning a lot more about the billions of dollars they're making off of the Great Lakes state. Well, Brian and Sue, the billion dollar company is now asking to pump 400 gallons of water per minute in Osceola County. But that application request with the MDEQ is like deja vu when compared to what they tried to do 15 years ago in Macosta County, which many people probably don't even know about. Unless you live in the areas where Nestle pumps their water, you probably don't remember the less than warm welcome they received when they set their sights on Michigan spring water. Archive newspaper articles show skepticism to the company's move to open an ice mountain bottling plant in Macosta County. Then eventually pumping wells in Morton and Osceola townships. Wood TV was there as the company first unveiled final plans in 2001. They are solid, economic, solid stewards of their natural resources. By 2003, the company had permission from the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality to pump 400 gallons per minute from their Morton Township site, dubbed Sanctuary Springs. The Michigan Citizens for Water Conservation sued Nestle that same year, arguing their pumping was harming the environment. After a three-week civil trial, the judge agreed with the group, citing expert testimony showing a four to six inch drop in wetlands surrounding that area in just seven months. He rejected flatly the computer model of Nestle. For Love of Water president and Traverse City-based attorney Jim Olson represented the conservation group during that lawsuit. Most recently, his group worked with water experts to put together a 113-page report disputing Nestle's current application with the state. They don't have any field data to support that. It's just a model calibration uh, internal to the model, which is not tied to reality. Olson says what they're trying to do now in Osceola County is no different than what they tried to do in Macosta County in the early 2000s. That lawsuit and court documents continued until 2009 when the conservation group and Nestle finally agreed that the company's yearly average will remain at 218 gallons per minute at the Sanctuary Spring site. State law requires the DEQ to charge just $200 a year, though, for Nestle to pump and bottle Michigan's water. If you break that down based on their current application to increase to 400 gallons per minute in Osceola County, Nestle will pay just 55 cents a day for over half a million gallons of water. If homeowners only had to pay 55 cents a day for their water, water bills would only be about $17 a month. Now, according to their 2016 annual report, the company made $7.4 billion in water sales. Profits that are baffling to Marianne Borden, whose property backs up to Twin Creek in Osceola Township. I couldn't say it politely. <laughs> it makes me feel. Um, because that's just, that's, that's just um, criminal. She's lived in the same house since she was eight. When I realized what they were going to do. They were going to bottle this water and send it somewhere else. It was like somebody hit me in the solar plexus. I just kind of went, ugh. Her 15 years of distaste for the company led to Gordon speaking out at the DEQ's public hearing back in April. At the time of that packed hearing at Ferris State University, the department had received close to 400,000 responses to Nestle's current increase application. But that night, the DEQ told us that the law is not written in a way to let public opposition impact their final decision. The number of comments actually are not one of the things we can review under the law. Um, under the law, our primary responsibilities are to look at whether or not the water is safe to drink and whether or not it will have an adverse impact on the resources in the area. Nestle has consistently said their pumping has no adverse impact, citing 16 years of research and monitoring. But Borden says that's different than what she's seeing in her own backyard. If they've been monitoring for 16 years, I mean, what are their thoughts when they see this happening? They think, oh, well, this is okay. Now, we did ask the DEQ why that pumping average agreement sent in Macosta County back in 2009 didn't set a precedent for Nestle's operations statewide, including in Osceola County, where they're trying to increase right now. But the DEQ told us that we should consult a legal expert on that.